Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Lalantia Show. Today, I'm coming on to talk about the new earth and manifesting the new earth or creating the new earth. And this is coming up really, really strongly for me right now because I'm in the process of recording some videos, meditations, journeys, healings for elemental manifesting. So I was doing these and I was like, you know what? I have actually done a video that is about the new earth and manifesting the new earth or creating the new earth, whatever language you want to use. So I felt like it was really important to come on here and have this discussion. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Lilanti. I'm a psychic realm channeler and energy healer, and I specialize in working with the magical realms, work with dragons, unicorns, mermaids, fairies, all of the different magical beings. I work very closely with the earth. I'm all about soul alignment and being deeply connected to your true self, who you really truly are. And so I help you to heal the bits and pieces of you that are needing healed, which is kind of just like releasing these things that aren't your truths, really. Um, but you know, there's lots of different angles of looking at it. So <laughs> just using those words, I guess. And I know that I am here to help teach about the new earth and what we are creating for the new earth and, and our responsibility individ as individuals for being a part of this process and being a part of this new energy that is being birthed here now and how much each of us brings our own energy to the table. So I actually just finished doing um, the first video for the first module for elemental manifesting as well as a meditation and kind of just going into the program. This isn't the first time I've run elemental manifesting, but every time it goes deeper and this time it's going even deeper and there's so much more content. Like I have a feeling that, you know, there's going to be at least three videos and maybe two meditations just for module one. They're not super long. Um, the meditation was almost a half an hour, but the, the first video wasn't super long. So it's like bite-sized pieces for the most part. Um, but there's so much here. And when it comes to the earth, portion of elemental manifesting. So we're talking about all the different elements, but the earth portion of elemental manifesting has a lot because that's kind of the whole point of this whole thing is that we are manifesting, we are creating a new earth, right? And so one thing that they had talked to me about is activating the new earth grid. And this grid is here and we each have like our role and bits that we we can do to contribute to the activation of that energy and also activating that energy in others and being that shining light for others so this is just really important to recognize you know we are breaking down our current society now that is really scary for a lot of people it's very triggering it's bringing up a lot of stuff we're doing a lot of purging but it is allowing things to fall so that we're able to build the new right and we want to create this new way of being this new earth where we have more compassion for other people where we have more connections where we are more deeply connected with the earth and working in harmony with the earth right we want to work with the earth we want to work with the earth for the food the food that she provides for us we want to work with the earth for the water she provides for us we work with the earth for the medicine she provides us you know all of these things are provided for us so why are we going outside of what is provided for us for other things that aren't really in alignment with our body and our soul, right? So these are diff just some different things to take into consideration for when you are manifesting the new earth, for when you are going into that energy, what really feels right? What feels good? What do you really want to bring forward? What energy do you resonate with most? And that can maybe be like your passion point that that passion that you have for those specific things maybe for you it's a combination of things maybe it's a community and having community for others to come together in a safe place and be able to be supported and give support maybe it's having community gardens maybe it's uh, doing speaking engagements to help inspire others to do certain things you know on particular topics 
but everybody has their role and their part of creating this new earth. And everybody knows what that is when you're tuned in and connected to yourself. You can't find that outside of you. But things like elemental manifesting can support that energy to help you in deepening that connection and understanding the other outside elements and comprehending this different energy. Because our mind can be very active. We can get very confused with you know, living in this physical world and their, our conditioning and our fears. And we can just be like, this is too much. And I don't know what to do with this. And I don't know what this all means. And so that's why there are things like elemental manifesting where you get some additional support and guidance to lay foundations for what you are creating. Plus building this energy together because it's a group program. So we're building the energy together for creating this new earth. And this alone is incredibly magical because we all can amplify each other's intentions. And we can share what we are creating. What is, what is it that you most want to create for the new earth? And in that, we create a bigger vision. And we get other pieces that come in as we share because it's like, oh, well, that is a really good point. I'm going to add some of that to my own manifesting because that feels really good to me. We are, people are activating each other. I am helping activate you. Um, in the healing activation meditation with Gaia, she did activations to help you to remember who you are and what you are here to do. You are a part of the creation of the new earth. That is a part of your purpose. That is one thing, well, one thing with many things in it, that you are here for. Now you are meant to enjoy the journey to have joy in your life, to be happy and have fun. It's not like it's all work and no play. No, it's play. The play is the work. It can be that way. So as we deconstruct the way of being right now, fears are probably coming up. I think that we can't really avoid that. We're going to have fears coming up. But when we're tapped in and tuned in to the new earth, then we're able to see the greater picture and we're, be, we're able to be connected to love and the love that is in the new earth, right? So as you tap in and connect with that frequency. So we all have a role and a part in the creation of the new earth. And part of that is doing our own healing work, recognizing our own limiting beliefs, our own fears, our own limitations, our own illusions. And as we recognize what those are, then we're able to break down these walls and these barriers. And as we do it, we assist the collective in doing it. We assist everyone in knocking down these walls so that we can all come together. We come together to create the new earth. And that's the thing here in the society we live in now, we're all very much individual in the sense of we do our own thing, we work alone, but no, that's changing. We are now coming together. We are working together. We are working as groups to raise the energy, to change the energy and the vibration to create the new earth. So you're not meant to do it alone, but you have to find your people and you find your people by being deeply connected to yourself and showing up in the places that feel in alignment with you. This isn't about following others blindly. Not just trusting in what others are saying. Don't just trust in what I'm telling you. Take time to connect to yourself. And what does your heart and your soul tell you? What is it that you really truly feel about the things that I or others say? And where it resonates Follow that. Don't allow yourself to get overwhelmed with things, but recognize every little bit is getting you closer to a place of alignment and connection with others who will help you on your journey if it's not already happening. The new earth is a place of beauty, 
of gratitude, of connection, of love, of equality. So as you tune into that energy, and you should tune into that energy, feel it, allow it to build within you and continue to tap into that energy, to allow it to build more so that you are part of the creation of this. Well, you already are, no matter what, like no matter what, you're always manifesting. Whether you're consciously aware of it or you're not, you're still manifesting. So doing it in alignment and with intention makes all the difference. So I wanted this video to be about the new earth, but I also want to talk about elemental manifesting, which I have done a bit already. But elemental manifesting is this program that I have been doing for a few years, but this year, 2020, I am changing it up a lot and I'm adding a lot. And even though like my sales page looks the same right now, it's like, as I do the recordings, as I put together the content, I'm, re I'm recognizing that this is a whole other level. So the last time I launched Elemental Manifesting, it was amazing. It was incredible. It was very powerful. This time it's a whole nother level. But Elemental Manifesting is bringing people together. And it has in the past when I've run it as well. And that to me is so incredibly important because when we come together in spaces like this, it gives us so much more support in our own manifestations and helps us see the greater picture even more clearly because everybody brings little puzzle pieces. And when everybody's puzzle pieces get placed together, then it makes a much bigger picture, a much more clear picture, and we can understand it way better. So I just want you to know that Elemental Manifesting is absolutely incredible. And it is a program that you can get that support in understanding manifesting in different ways. Um, it is elemental manifesting. So we are working with the elements and the elementals. So yes, we are working with earth, water, fire, um, air, <laughs> and spirit. We're also working with gnomes and earth dragons and fire dragons and salamanders and fire sprites. And um, we have leprechaun or leprechauns, at least there's at least one. Okay, there's a few that are there. Um, we're working with um, sylphs that are elementals. We're working with, um, who did I miss? Oh, the mirror beings. We are working with the undines. We are working with um, unicorns for spirit. We are working with crystals and the crystal kingdom. Um, we're working with fairies. Uh, these are just some of the energies. I know that there are way more. These are just a few that are just popping up for me, but there are so many different incredibly magical energies that we're working with. And these energies are helping us in clearing those blocks and those limiting beliefs and those fears and all of these things that are keeping us from creating what we really truly are wanting to create, right? Instead of creating from default, we'll create with intention and we'll do it together. Um, there is lots of healings. There are lots of meditations. There are lots of journeys. There are lots of, um, there are lots of teachings. So elemental manifesting has so much stuff. I also have the practical stuff because I can teach you all the magical stuff, but the magical stuff isn't going to work without the practical stuff because we are having a human experience. You can't skip that part. So the last module is the practical steps that are important for everything else to be tied together. So I just wanted you to know that that exists. I will post the link below so that you can check it out. I run it periodically, like, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure how they're gonna have me move forward with it, but I know that I'm launching it again here now in the fall of 2020. And I will be running it again, probably in the early spring or late winter. Um, so I think that what, the, what, I'm, what I'm receiving is the importance of continuing to build this energy. And each time I do it, I will probably add bits and pieces and change things up a little bit. So the energy is always fresh and new. And there is always additional support in 
the program so that you have support and we have a community because we're creating the new earth and community is a major part of the new earth. So I want to stress that that will be a big part of it as well. Um, if you have questions about it or you want to know more about it, you can contact me. You can click the links below. You can um, reach out to me on Facebook or email me or whatever you feel called to. And I'm happy to have a conversation with you about it. Uh, if on my website, I will try to keep everything up to date so that you know when it's, when it's available or the next time I'm going to be launching it, if it's already launched, that kind of thing. But it is a really incredible experience and I'm really excited to work with many, many more people in the program. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video and I will see you on the next one. Bye.